winner of the 2024 Tea to New Zealand Imported Kitchen is Damien Hanna of German Kitchens. For this architecturally designed new home, the brief for the kitchen was simple. White, more white, plus extra white. And with the white palette firmly established, the design conscious owner wanted the features of the kitchen to provide the aesthetic appeal rather than using colour and texture. Taking the less is more Bauhaus approach, the designer eliminated cabinetry plinths and the lower cabinetry area. This created a floating kitchen which lined up with the recessed skirting boards and allowed the white floorboards to extend all the way to the walls. The cabinetry was suspended by building a large structural steel frame that supported the 3 metre lengths of cabinetry requiring only a single skinny chrome leg at each end. The steel frame also gave room for the required services and provided extra bench depth to create more usable workspace. Sustainability was central to the design and underpinned by the selection of Corian for bench tops and the type of furniture boards used for the carcass and front materials. While the Tita judges were initially intrigued by the visual features of this kitchen, what turned out to be the most impressive was the design and engineering needed to achieve the apparently simple look. Congratulations to Damien Hanna of German Kitchens, winner of the 2024 Tita New Zealand Imported Kitchen of the Year. Thank you, thank you. Wow, this is amazing. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to win the award. Uh, and so uh, this is amazing and my clients will be thrilled as well. Um, it was a challenging design uh, in a brand new architecture design home in Wellington. And the concept of design, I want to create a floating kitchen. And to achieve this, I had to design a very strong structural steel element that was freestanding that sat behind the kitchen and we support, suspended the kitchen cabinetry off that. And this allowed us to have a completely different design philosophy. And also with the weight distribution from the steel frame, it allowed us to have a very skinny, minimal structure at each end of the island. And this really created a sense of, of floatiness and space that has not been achieved before. And, and it allowed the floorboards to run all the way to the back wall and create a sense of light and openness underneath. And the steel structure took a lot of, a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of engineering. And uh, it was very challenging, but I think the end result speaks for itself. And we also had to put steel in the wall to suspend the Corian floated shelf to avoid any solid fixings there as well. So very challenging. And so to achieve this award, I'm, I'm very stoked for my hard work and my efforts. So thank you again to Trends. Thank you to TIDA. Thank you to amazing clients. And also thank you to my hardworking suppliers to make this all possible. <laughs>